homes. In the process of this, his family, including his brother and single mum, would move from his grandparents' trailer park home into low-income government housing, where Geordie Jordan would continue to gain weight while further isolating himself from society. Yeah, those houses are fucking garbage. A lot of them are duplexes, and you can hear people on the other ha on the other side. Like I I've been in these houses before. By the age of 14, he had reached approximately 240 pounds or 110 kilograms, also being diagnosed yep. with bipolar That's and social anxiety disorder, adding yep. to the isolation even further. To counteract this, Geordie Jordan would begin to take on various low-skilled jobs in order to get out of the house more often, as well good. as earn himself a little That's bit good. of income. In his late teens, he would take on various positions such as working at a video rental store, a supermarket as a 911 operator, and even as a Domino's pizza delivery driver. However, right. he found many of these Not to be boring and okay. stimulating, often leading Right. Him to quit within only two weeks of starting. However, at the that, age hey, of he lasted longer than I did at Sam's Club. Yeah, like he lasted. Yeah, he's try. He's try trying to get out there, trying to. Do, yeah, he's trying to do what he needs to do. 18, Geordie Jordan would finally get into a position which he was able to hold for some period of time, specifically a job working for a company by the name of Metglass. What I did at Metglass is I was an overhead crane operator for blast furnaces that basically poured liquid metal and things out, kind of like Terminator 2. While working at Metglass in 2007, wow. Geordie and another friend by the name of Z7 Taylor would play Call of Duty that's, in that's, the that's evenings, impressive. Okay. also starting to regularly watch sniper montages over on YouTube. In the process, Quick Geordie selfie. thought about making his own videos, however, given his busy work schedule, would dismissed the idea as he had minimal time for doing so. However, yeah. in 2008, an event would occur that presented itself as a negative in the beginning, however would turn out to be a huge turning point in his life, the global financial crisis. Geordie explained that since he was one of the more expensive employees at Mech- Bro, like this fucked everybody. Like this real shit fucked everybody. I remember back whenever it, uh, this is like, I'm, I'm thinking like, uh, Fucking Wings is about the same age I am, right? I'm assuming he's like probably 31 to 34. Yeah, he's like 31 to 34. Yeah, yeah, something like that. 35. Uh, yeah, he's 35. So like the same thing should happen to him, right? So in like 2008, if he's 35, that means he's like 21. He's like 21, 